What's going on guys? Crypt here. Bring you some gameplay commentary. No shark canals attack. Um This is not gonna be about tactics because I don't think I use any. It's just one of those games where it's the last one in the gaming session. I'm tired and I wanna kill people. That's pretty much it. Uh, there's no flanking routes. It's just me and Johnny B and an Amtrak and death. That's about it. There's no real thought process behind this. Uh, at this point uh, in the game, like I said, it was probably the last one in this uh, couple of hours we were playing. To the point where you're really tired. You don't want to think. You just want to have fun. And of course, winning's great. Uh, but I will snap out of a, a lazy attitude if I'm starting to lose. Because I don't want to lose... At, the last game of the night that's just doesn't work I don't like that so um I spawn in late in this game uh, teammates already part this Amtrak here and I'm just abusing people with it uh, if I can't plant the bomb I'm gonna be uh, a really big pain in the ass be a nice distraction uh, defend bombs uh, kill enemies throw them off focus hopefully get them to bait it into revenge attacks Stuff like that. Things that throw them off their square. Make them come after me, which is fine because, uh, okay. If you're coming after me, you're not defending the bomb and somebody's going to arm it. Uh, when I play an organized squad, it's sort of similar. I mean, there's guys that, in my squad that will be the first ones on the bomb. And my job, not that I'm assigned it, but I just take it on naturally, is that I'll defend the bomb. Uh, on defense, I will probably be one of the first ones there to defuse a bomb. Uh, defense of a bomb site, I'm usually the cl first one that's the close into the bomb. Uh, I don't stray too far away. Uh, on attack, I'm sort of the opposite. I'm on the outside as much as possible. I try to flank. Uh, just kill people they don't expect it. Except here when I run right street and people get shot in the face. It's going to happen. Uh, if I die in this game, I'm just going to say uh, I'm tired. That's the reason why I died. We'll just go with that. Really had no desire to fly in a little bird. I mean, I probably could have done some damage with the uh, against infantry and whatnot. I'm a decent pilot, but again, I got in the Amtrak and I stayed in the Amtrak. I did a video about how I thought this was the most uh, powerful weapon in the game most powerful vehicle and most underused actually and I still stand by that and again in this game you don't see a lot of people spawning into it but if you're an organized squad uh, if you do it right uh, this thing can stay alive for a long time it can do a lot of damage just by being a huge pain in the ass for the enemy team Cause right here I'm just trying to put it right up on the bomb Hopefully somebody spawns into it or uses me um, for a distraction. That's what I'm trying to do. Get in here and get in their face and make them focus on me. And if I die, so what? I'll be back in, what, eight seconds? And the Amtrak's probably going to be right there spawning as I do. Because it spawns really quick. Yeah, fail aim for the win there, I suppose. Just keep firing. You'll eventually hit somebody. Uh, one part of this commentary, I want to make a little bit of a, a little bit of a statement on, I guess, I suppose. Uh, I like the fact that the community is getting together in more of these uh, tournament-type modes. Uh, Project PTFO, I believe, is from Battlefield O and a couple others. Uh, basically centered on competitive play it looks like the details haven't been released yet teams haven't been set but it looks like it's going to be a huge uh, tournament uh, sponsored by pixel enemy and even though if, if you can't get involved in that there's uh, commentators on consoles that want to uh, set up certain competitions within a console like the xbox community uh, i've definitely uh, seen videos about that i don't know if that's uh, holds true to ps3 but uh, I see the Pub Star tournament going on right now on PC, and uh, I would love to do something like that uh, on Xbox, uh, just for competition's sake, and also uh, 
you know, making new friends within the community, which is really the best thing you can do for your channel is to uh, have fun uh, with other people doing the same thing you are, you know, similar likes and and we all pretty much like playing Battlefield, so hey, what the hell, get a stronger team out of it. Like I said, in this part, I don't have any tactics in this. I was just trying to be a big pain in the ass, and it cost me quite a bit. Uh, sort of the KD-wise, it did. Uh, I cut out a lot of deaths, because I don't really want to see a video where people die a lot. And I sure as hell don't want to show you a video where I die a lot. So the kill cams have been cut down. Some deaths have been cut out completely. If they're just, you know, hey, I spawn in, hey, I die. I might cut that crap out. This game was probably 40 minutes long. And I don't want to post a video that's 40 minutes long. You don't want to see a video that's 40 minutes long. And I damn sure don't want to talk for 40 minutes. This is a good example of my tactic. See? I'm on the bomb. Come and get me. Uh, even if they have to kill me, it's probably going to take them longer to kill me than they can successfully kill me and disarm the bomb. Unless it's a squad dedicated to kicking my ass again. Ain't gonna happen. I just put this iron pig in their way and make them adapt to me. It's not always a foolproof plan. You know, mines and C4 will end your little day quickly, but they gotta get close to you. It doesn't always happen. And here I'm just, uh, not, of course, I'm not arming the bombs on this one. I don't be. But I'll be right here defending it. And why there's an entire squad on that roof, I don't know. But uh, our team mows them down pretty quickly. Uh, this team that we we're playing against, uh, we certainly didn't roll them. This wasn't any kind of uh, a steamrolling situation. Uh, they were aware. I mean, flanking routes, uh, that was a sloppy one on my part. But you didn't really flank these guys too much. As you see here, they're on their... Uh, far left of this building uh, so flam set up javelins running because they realized that the Antrek has been a pretty big threat and they uh, surround it and they're going for it taking it out that's the biggest that they have uh, to them winning and they're gonna take that out as soon as possible and they they adapted to us and of course and it means you got adapted them At this point, uh, our team was struggling to take out B. Uh, this this warehouse is a pain. Because even inside here, they were lining up javelins on the rooftop there. The little office building, you would call it, inside the warehouse. And that's a pain in the ass to get through. Uh, the grenades weren't blowing up the walls, like I'd hoped. Uh, I put this thing in here in harm's way, hoping to uh, get some spawns in on my, my team is spawning on it. And to use the guns to defend the bomb if we got it armed. Uh, we took too much damage early and uh, led to my death when I hopped up. But I'm stubborn, so I'm going to try the same thing again. Uh, just this time, I'm hoping for more infantry support for my team. Uh, I park here, and my objective at this point was to thin out the herd on the outside so my team can funnel in and take out the bomb because at the point there uh, when I died earlier uh, the AA gun and the Vodnik and snipers are just pretty much mowing our team down before they can get to the objective to do any good at this point I was uh, trying to use the only asset we have the armored asset we have to take out these uh, random snipers and of course the javelins were raining in heavy and didn't last too long on this one. Well, my goal there was to hop out and hop back in the driver's seat and pop smoke. Of course, the javelin came in too fast. I could have hopped through all the seats on the inside of the vehicle. I just took it to the end one. And either way, it didn't work. Uh, what I did cut out on this part was I think I died in the warehouse two more times. I'm like, ah, oh, well, if they're camping in corners in the warehouse, I'll put infrared on. I'll be able to see them great theory. Too bad the infrared blows. At least in my opinion it does. 
I thought I had a teammate flanking with me there, but uh, that guy got between us. And again, if I had been communicating with that guy, it could have been a little different, but uh, we prefer to just stay in party chat. And most of the time, people don't pay attention to you anyway in team chat. I don't even know if it works anymore. Uh, at this point, I was doubting our uh, chances of success here. Because, uh, like I said, we have been just getting mauled coming into the warehouse. And even if you get in the warehouse, and you got guys right on it. Snipers watching the area. And again, that's a compliment to the enemy team. They weren't going to let up. They never did let up. And it was a hard fight all the way to the finish. Which is good. I mean, you know, everybody wants to get a high KD and do well and yada, yada, yada. But those kind of games where you roll teams that get boring. Uh, who wants to go 3-0 and and win? I'd rather go 34-18 and 18 like I am in this game and, and have it be close, competitive. I don't think too many people drop out in this game. Now for some reason I switched to the M4 with the infrared scope. Uh, don't know, again, I don't know why. It wasn't that successful. But uh, and if Red has its uh, purposes, I suppose. I mean, maybe damn a Van Peak on the inside of the tunnel. That's that's about all I think it goes. I know before the first patch, it was, seemed to be very overpowered, and I, I admit I used it before I knew any better. But now it's just uh, it's garbage. It really is. It has no place on the battlefield uh, when you compare it to simple red dot site, cobra site you really can't beat those anymore that seems to be where it's at at least in my eyes like I said, it's my opinion I value my opinion and you should too <laughs> um, game's coming to a close Are we win just trying to be a huge pain in the ass like I uh, <laughs> that's what I try to do Huge pain in the ass. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. If you get a chance, there's a few more vids you can check out in your spare time. Thanks for support. As always, this is Corrupt. Peace!